assalamu alaikum assalamu alaikum welcome to a new video so welcome assalamu alaikum to my wonderful youtube my wonderful viewers and how are you guys doing i'm doing great and i've been doing a few running arounds and i'm so busy extremely busy because i have um i recently just find an, a job that i'm i'm in love with and i'm so happy i love the job so right now i have few updates that i want to update you guys about my life my home and the things that i've been doing with my children and the things that i i'm trying to keep up so today i'm just i have a good news and bad news i don't know how to explain it but i will try my best this the good news uh the good news is not depending on is depending on the my children and me and my home so um and the bad news is i don't know how the kids will react to it so i'm pretty much like in a, in a my own little confused moment I don't know if that has ever happened to anybody. Like you just like in a confused moment of what to do. You don't know what to do. You don't know what to think anymore. So my little, the good news is I found a job that I am extremely in love with and is working with kids. I know every time I have in my mind, I want to do a job that I like and I want to do a job that I enjoy and a job that I know I'm good at, especially. So I finally landed an after school program job and it's not a few long hour job, which I love. It's like Mac is a five hour a day job. I go there in the afternoon and I stay with the kids and then help them out with the homework and everything. I love it. I love it because it's working with younger kids. It's like working with my kids, but they're not mine. That's the difference. So um, so I'm working with them and I'm learning and I'm like, okay. And I'm actually, the things that I'm learning over there, I'm bringing it to my home and putting it in a playful to help my children also. So I'm kind of, I kind of like that. A bit. I come home and also tell them, take out your homework. Let's go over your notes. What you did at school. It, it help. It, it's like pushing me up a bit to be like you know, be consistent with my kids' schoolwork, because I have to do that with the kids that I'm I'm working, um, I work with. So I'm pretty much glad that I have the opportunity to go experience the job field of working with kids my dream job so i hope inshallah it continues and i earn and i be grow like so so any day that god has planned for me so i'm pretty much so happy about that job that's the good news the bad news is my that job has reflected my children's school timing and um the days and the time that I spend with them. So I'm pretty much not in good. Like before I used to like, when I, I used to be the one picking them from school because my job used to be, my job used to be like only in the afternoon and the, no, no, in the night. I used to work in the night and then in the morning I'm with them all day and in the nighttime when they're here, they go to bed. My, uh, I go to work and my husband stays with them. But then all of a sudden it changed and that's reflecting on their school too. So my husband and I decided that we we're planning to change their school. So I know that by the time the school view this video, they view this video, they'll probably be changed by then. And it's, it was a very hard decision. I hate making decisions like this especially in the middle of the school year and the kids are used to being there for they've been there for two years now they like they they become comfortable and they they have grown a large amount of friends and they're used to that school environment and to take them out again is like you starting they're starting from nothing again and to get used to another school 
so i know how that is i know how that will affect people especially kids like my kids i know who are they i have two that it is they are very easily adjusted to a place and anywhere they go but the older one i know he's he's much of a for him to get used to certain things people settings it takes some time it takes some time and he he doesn't rush into people getting to know people it doesn't rush to be on top of people he likes to get to know you if he wants to continue to be friends with you and if he doesn't like you or whatever decision he makes he then decide okay this is i'm getting used to it but it takes him a, a while though. but because everybody all of them are different in their own way so i love that they are different and i don't want to i don't want to change anything about that because if they all have one personality it wouldn't be easy to deal with them at home so the fact that they are different in their own unique ways i love that and i didn't tell um my husband told me when they come from school when we're all home i should you know bring up the conversation of the fact that i want i've changed here i want to change their school so that i could be able to keep this job that i have so um, it's just me and my husband it's just me and my husband we do our best and i have good supportive system but now my sisters are in college my brothers are in college they're working it's like i the timing and things that they used to do for me is is limited now <laughs> i'm not too happy of it but they are their own people now so i'm extremely glad they're growing and learning and moving on in different life in the stages in life so i love that but now it's now like i have to wake up and change my things that i used to do and don't i don't have many dependents people that so uh that runs if i call them and say hey go pick up my son go pick up my baby from the babysitter or anywhere they run and pick them up for me i don't have that anymore so that's really reflected on me with my job keeping a job a real good job it's been really really hard for me so now that i have this job it's really like i have to do this for myself i've tried i've tried so hard um with the kids and i'm also doing work on the computer so i'm pretty much busy right now i'm work doing some stuff online working online and before i get to work in the afternoon so i was like you know let me document some stuff i hate the fact that i have to call the kids sit them down and tell them this because it's something that i know um somehow it will uh, uh, affect them big time because changes is not an easy thing to get adjust to in a um, blink of eye and it doesn't have you don't get adjust to things easily quickly too it takes time so um, it's pretty much like um it's good for me and i'm having a two um, two different mindsets of it but we ha i have to do this i have to do this for myself i have to sacrifice some stuff and hopefully that will give me more time to stay with the kids help come when i pick them up from um from after the after school program bring them home they're all together they're not like because this school they go to their schedules are different and my schedule is different too so that's really really re reflecting our and our day my earnings my days that i want to work it's just reflect it's all over the place so this one will be all three of them in one school, all three of them in same scheduled, same everything. So, and me on the other hand, I'll be able to have time to go to work, come back home and make time with my kids. So I'm so extremely glad about that. And um, I hope it can, like the schedule that I choose, I hope it just helps me out. Yeah, I hope it helps me out because it's not an easy thing. And my the kids, I know it will, I will try to get, and this is not a prank. This is reality. I'm sorry. 
I'm gonna post this on YouTube, and the school's gonna one of some of their teachers gonna see this. So it's not a prank; it's a reality. It's something that I planned. It's something that I have to do. I have no choice, and I don't. I'm not too happy for doing it, but because I hate changes myself. So I imagine younger people, it will make their behavior. You know, some of them will have emotional uh, uh, changes. When you move from another place to another, it happens. You go through some emotional changes and many things. It comes with many things. So I'm still going to follow, go along with them, help them, support them, and, you know, talk to them. Because my kids are, one thing about them I love is that they're very, very understanding. And the fact that my kids understand and they, they're like, okay, mommy needs this job to keep help to help us and support us i know i know for sure they're gonna have put me for it first they're gonna think of me even they're young you'll be surprised how the kids learn and how supportive and strong they are towards their parents earnings so my kids are like that they really really care like said they're really uh, understanding when it comes to income wise they're like oh mommy we want to do this so you have to earn this yes okay that's okay you need to work <laughs> it's really really lovely so um, i'm pretty much gonna document this and see how they react and how they're feeling i know it's gonna be a hard but sometimes we just have to sacrifice some time to make the best of things you just have to sacrifice. So that will be the thing that I'll do today. It just documents them and their reactions. Don't go anywhere. Okay? So you're going to see how kids how kids actually really think when their parents have to make certain sacrifice with them. And they have and they know they play an important role on it. You'll see the difference. Okay? Salaamu Alaikum. Don't go anywhere. Okay? Bye. Okay. And... I'm gonna give the mic to your dad. You remember? Can you sit down? I'm a Ibrahim. Come here. Ibrahim, come. Ibrahim! Okay, he's fine here then. So, these guys know I just recently found a new job. So it's going to be hard for me to go. The job that I, I just started is very good. And it's very good for the, the because it's that the education, um, like that's the job that I went to school for. So you see him? And for that, it's going to be a little hard for me to run and go pick you guys up. That's why lately I haven't been able to pick you guys up. And since because of that job, new job, it made me and your father. Me and your dad decided that we should change you guys' school. When? In the middle of the school year? Yeah. No! No, I'm not with mommy. Because I don't know. It's not easy. It's not easy for me. So tomorrow, it's not like it, it's a big, big decision, and you guys have to help me out. I thought you guys would be understanding, a little bit more understanding. It's not easy. I've been with you guys since you were all born. I mean, the house here, I don't work as much. But now I finally got a job that I'm just willing to pay me better to help and support you guys. And it's not too far from the house here. I don't want to go there. Why? Why you don't want to go there? I want to stay in that school. But you know how hard it is. Why can't we go next year? I I would love to, but the school said that they don't mind taking you guys now because no, it's our don't own mind. school. No, no. We're not
You see what happened? I don't have anybody to pick you guys up. Your uncle and your grandma is not going to continue helping me. You will not go to win. Who be happy to win? Since I started this school, this work, has I, have I been able to pick you guys up? No. And I know for sure they're not going to continue to help me because they have their own life. So I have to put, uh, I have to make this kind of decision so that it could help you guys and help me. So, when you guys go to this new school, you'll see the hands of it just like the way. But guys, none of us had decision. We just have to go along with it. And if it, if it was up to me, I don't want to change your school. Tomorrow, tomorrow, we have to no, go. we're not going to start. You're not starting tomorrow. It's just tomorrow we have to go see you guys. I know changes is not easy for me. Anybody, even children, me, anybody. I don't like going to new places, new schools. But you guys have to understand, I just, I'm suffering. I don't have a good job. And if I continue like this, we're going to be, you, why are you crying? Don't cry. I don't want to go to that school. Do you know the school? What school? What school? What school? He, I have one. He has 23. Where? What? That's where? That's next to us. So is that is you drive all the way to You know the big you know the big school the big school they are where the, the, the kids here. You know the kid here? The Malian downstairs, the downstairs. And Fatima. You know them? They are yeah. both going huh? to the same school. The school they're going to you guys the, the same school. You know, the school they write it if you go you don't actually need to all the time, like the way Harriet Tubman is. No. When every day you have to wear uniform. No. This school? No, just a down day. It's just once in a blue moon. It's not like this school. This Mommy, school, so every Friday I could let you guys dress regular, and Monday to Thursday you wear a uniform if you want. Who did this? Is Ibram? Is, is Ibram? Hey, I'm not school? All three of you guys. Hey, I'm not Mommy, is, is, She said it's Abidane. 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 Daddy, um, can we go there next year? Who did this? Who did this? No, he's not about the battle damn time. Mom, I do not want to go there this year. Can we go next year? Because next year is a good time to go. No, what the battle damn time? You better in about the battle damn time. What does that mean? She starts walking out somewhere. If I hold that, it's going to be hard for her. If you move to go up next last week, this week. Uncle Omar, yeah, sometimes if, he, he, if he, she calls Uncle Omar, Uncle Omar says, no, no, I'm not going, I'm not going. So he always... Yeah, walk. if it's me, I don't mm. mind, but nobody cannot continue that for you guys. So, why you did see you today... Go, why did you join that job then? Because I need to make money. We're struggling. Mm. Why well, don't want to join Harry and then? Yeah, we, you, you get more money than that. You get more money. Look, eh, look, eh, anywhere you go, any school, you teach yourself. If you're smart, any school you go, you're going to be smart. Uh, that, the, the school don't teach you, you teach yourself. The, two, the, the school is only the key, the key for you. If you want to, the key, the school give you key. If you want to open, to be smart, you're going to open. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to open, do not be smart. Do not want to be smart. You teach yourself. So when we come any, home, any, I will help you guys. Any school you go. You go. In, 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 in Guinea, Africa over there, they have private school, they have public school. But the people in public school, they're very smart than private school. Mm -hmm. Because the family, poor family, they don't have nothing. Daddy, where, where did you go? Public school. They go to public, the, 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 the family, they don't have that money. Poor people, they put the, 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 the kids at uh, public school. Yeah, so they, they go over there, they say, 
Yeah, why the, the, the rich people, mm -hmm. they are private school. Mm -hmm. So okay, my 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 family don't have nothing. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna do everything. I'm gonna be smart. I'm gonna do my, do my effort. I'm gonna be smart. That so all the all the minister, all the minister you see in Africa over there, all the ministers, they from poor family. They study good. Look, and Obama the, too himself. And the government, Obama, yeah. and the government helping him. Yeah. He, he, they go to Morocco. They go to France. Look at your dad. That's all he did. He worked understand? hard. And my, he my, father was, my father don't have nothing. My, my mom don't have nothing. Yeah. But since I came here, I did. I, I studied good. I came. Uh, the government sent me to Morocco. From Morocco, I came here. I start. Giving them money, you, see, you you go you go over there. You see my father, right inside the car. I'm the one who buy that car. You see my the house. I'm the one who build that house. My father doesn't have nothing. So that's the uh, black family, uh, uh, African family. Like you guys, you guys be smart, you work hard, do something. You if you have a nice good job here, me I don't. I'm not working. I'm gonna go to Africa. You guys. Just send me money. Okay. <laughs> Bakai, send me this money. Bakai, I want this car. You see how many cars I sent to my father? You know how many cars? Three. There's not just him alone. How many, how many cars? Yeah. How many cars I sent to my father? How many cars? Uh-uh. Oh. My brother, I. No, how me many and my cars? wife. No, I'm talking about my father. No, how many my cars? father. Who helps me? How many cars I sent? Four. Huh? Or five. Three. The little car he take you guys to Bramaya. You see that car? Mm -hmm. I bought that car from Guinea, from, from somebody. You see the big car inside the. Like the one, the white car and the red car you yeah. drive us to uh, there. Exactly, and uh, and the the, uh, the the white car was broken broken here. The from. Oh yeah, you the big one. The twist. It was twist. Like the wheel was twist. No, not that one. The white, this big car. You don't see any big car at Guinea when you go over there? Mm -hmm, I did. White, the white one. White one. Ford. Huh? It's Ford. No, it's a, it's a Toyota Sequoia. Big one. Toyota Sequoia. And you don't see the Mercedes? The red one? No, a, a Mercedes that was white. You, if you go, you, go, you went to Colea, right? Mm hmm. You see, and you don't see any car. They, they put, they put the, the <laughs> thing in front of my father's house. One car. Oh yeah, that's. So I send three car. So that's the family. You have, you guys have to do, you work, work hard and help us. Anyway, anyway, we send you guys. Yeah. So do, uh, so you guys have to do that. Why, mommy, don't you got, cry. Please come. I sent you guys to Africa without me. Mommy. You guys have to know, yeah, those are my, my father, my mom. Yeah. They're not going to choose bad things for us. No, no, no. They're not going to choose bad things for us. You have to think about that. Anyway, we send you guys. We're not choosing bad things for you guys. No, 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 no. No. Have a nuts here because um, uh, there are schools. Mom, are so far. No, this year. This year. You guys going to start this year. Inshallah. Inshallah. This year. My mom, Inshallah. My mom too. She's coming. When she comes, she's the one who, who gonna be, who help my my wife. Just if you, if you guys go over there, she cannot go over there. It's gonna be full time to from here to go over there. She gonna be yeah. If she don't know the city. Is not a problem. She don't know the city, but if you are right here, she just go. She, uh, she just walk. She just walk and go pick up you guys. Just walk. Maybe you guys can walk when you guys. Have, yeah. Next year, in fourth grade. Fourth graders in that school Daddy. come home by themselves. Yeah, easy. It's easy. Yeah, you go walk down. Don't say that. That's school. Look that's how close school. it no. is from the house and here. Look at Fatima and Khadija. They walk home themselves. Everybody yeah. can go home. Daddy. Yeah, sometimes you walk home and they go to their house and so come to your house. So is that okay? So please. Yeah, it's, that, that's that's nothing. Mm -hmm. Anywhere you go, if you're smart, you're gonna be smart. Yeah. Anywhere you go, if you know how to read, how to write. Anywhere you go, you're gonna be smart. And you make new yeah. friends. Yeah, no, yeah, you're gonna be and smart. You go, it's gonna be, you're gonna love it. Look, no. I went to this new school that I'm working at. I didn't know nobody, no kids. But guess what? I love the children. Mother. I like them already. Mm -hmm. Yes, I do. No, I don't know. <laughs> Why you, Why you say I don't? I don't know what they're saying. You're always talking about them. Right? Yeah, I talk about mm -hmm. them because I didn't know that you guys and them have so much in common. 
So you see, life is like that. We have to, we have to be strong and help, help. Why can't ah. it be next year? I because this year is gonna end very soon. Like it's not gonna Amen. last because we're in December and the time that is finishing in June. Amen, amen, amen. Daddy, the time, Daddy, the time. Daddy, the time we finish that school is June and it's December. The time we finish that school is June. What? It's 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 June. What? That's why. Oh. <laughs> 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 Big man. You're not downloading that is unappropriate. Big man. Unappropriate? Hey, 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 can you blow my already? Can you blow my already? Hey, can you blow my already? Can you blow my already? Why are you crying? Can you blow my already? Hey, can you blow my already? Can you blow my already? Guess what? I will ask you within two months from now how many home. friends you make. Ah. Ah. You know like it, no. Come. Ah. 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 Why are you crying? Because we don't want to go to that school. Ah. I'm gonna miss my friend. What friend? What man said that? That friend, uh, 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 that friend, <laughs> that friend is not, is not your family, only friend. You got, you, one day you're going to separate from them. Yeah, the, and you only have to make sure you, you got to make a mama. lot of friends, man. Ah, mama, you know about it. You, you, went, you went, oh, so you went over there for the friend? You went over there to study, not for the friends. You don't know them, they are American. <laughs> uh-huh, you go over there. Your friend, you live is deny your friend. That's it. You go over there to uh, to study. Mm -hmm. not to, and you know what? Not, not to my friend. I went all the way down. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you, let me No, no, no. Let me tell you, let me tell you. Let me tell you, let Next year, you guys gonna go to Africa. Next year, inshallah. So, my people are really sad, but I know they'll do good. They do extremely good in anywhere and any environment I take them. I know it's not gonna be easy. So, Bakai, tell me, how are you feeling? Sad. Why are you sad? Because I don't want to leave my school. Mm. I know those friends for just two years, and now they know me fully. Mm. So, I understand. I understand that feelings because I had to go through changes too when I was in like you guys age from Africa to here at a young age and it wasn't easy for me but luckily you guys speak the same language and everything and you adopt you get used to the system easily so mommy how are you feeling <laughs> How are you feeling? Mm. Sad and... You're feeling sad? I know. I know. Don't cry. I don't want your friends to see you crying because they'll probably watch the video. Don't cry. Because one day... I'm going to leave, guys. I'm going to miss you for one. <laughs> and... We're definitely going to go all sometime whenever I'm free. And we're going to pass by Harriet Tubman and see some of her friends. And always watch our hey, videos. Hey. So, Bakai, what do you tell them? Subscribe. Like. like comment, comment. Share. And notifications. Mommy. Comment down below. Mommy, yeah. Yeah. Comment and down below if you guys do not want to... Um, us to leave Harriet Tubman and you guys want us to stay there <laughs> and go to the new school next year. Comment down below. Yes, it'll be very, it'll be very nice if it's up to me to for you guys to stay. I know, yeah. I ain't know my babies, but hey, life is not easy. 
Hmm. And now, tell your what we're gonna tell your friends so that they can stay connected and view the videos that we post. If they still, if they misses you guys, you your guys teachers. can. Oh, you guys can always come with us on Roblox. Shout out to everybody in my class. Shout out to Jacob, Madison, Haley, Jemaya, Angel, everybody. Hmm. Mommy, Michael, what? a lot. Jaden, Aminata, a lot. Mommy, well, who do you want to give a shout out to so that when you go to another school, they see I'm this video and oh, everything? <laughs> what are you going to Emmanuel O. Mackenzie. Yeah, Mackenzie's her best friend. Jacob. Jacob is my best friend, mm -hmm. too. Jacob is my best friend. Megan, she was with me last year. Mm. Jacob was made with me. We last are going to miss you guys. It's my not best best Jaden, mm. Jacob. So, so make sure you stay tuned. Watch our videos Dearest so that you can see. Alfred mm -hmm. and Katia. <laughs> Say the whole entire class. What's your class number? Three or three? Yes, three three. Three three. All three threes, all four ones. Please stay tuned. Watch the videos. We're leaving the school, but we're not leave you're not leaving our family. And we're gonna continue posting videos. December hey. what? We haven't decided the days that you guys will I move there. I wanted to go next year. Comment down below if you guys want us to go next year, not this in the middle of the school year. It's better going on next year because um, this month is December 1, and um, we leave that school on June. Mm -hmm. We should just make it. It makes more sense. I understand that. Yeah. So... Guys, this is a little sad video, but life, we had to do what we have to do and sacrifice in life. Even we don't, it doesn't sit well with our, um, our mind and ours and what we, the decisions we make. So we just pray to the almighty Allah to grant my family and my children strength and so that they could be able to do so well in their new school and continue striving great, continue growing as a their own individual person. I know they're such a smart children. And anywhere you guys go, you will find new people and people will love you. That's for sh that's one thing I know for sure. So that's it for now. Salamu alaikum. Oh, that was a dry salamu alaikum. What should we say again? Salamu alaikum. <laughs> and don't go. Thank Abby, you guys Abby. for watching the jabbies. Thank you Abby. guys for watching our YouTube, our video. And <laughs> we, this is just a new beginning. It's not an ending. It's a new beginning. Salamu alaikum. Bye bye. Good morning. Say good morning. Good morning. To the Yabi family. So this is everybody today. They're going to see their new school. But not everybody's happy. I understand. Okay. Not everybody's happy for the new move changing but we have to go what we have to do what's the best it's kind of like very sad here today <laughs> it's very sad for them friend how are you look daddy look primo daddy primo daddy look primo hey who's the primo for us who are you guys calling Primo? Alberto. That's his real name. Okay, don't you? I think I can. Okay. His name is Alberto.
You nervous? Why? Yeah. Can, can, first, can we go to my classroom to give my friends a bracelet? We just come in here to put some, me some paperwork. All of you come together. Let me take a picture. Ready? Let's take a picture. Hi, hi everybody. Woo, you Today. ready for the school? Yeah. No, Give I'm me a high five. We have a little party pooper. Eh? I'm not happy. I'm not a party pooper. Yeah, I'm going to take out my diary and give the bracelet to my friends. Wait, hold on. What's he, man? Mommy, this is Jessica's mouse. <laughs> Jessica said. Don't take stuff from the floor. Jessica said that from now. Please. Cavities, please. We need a cavity. Ibrahim. Huh? So we're going to come sit by and you're going to pick up some of your stuff. Let's see what they're gonna say. They're gonna take you guys in and I'll leave you. But if they're not, we could go back home and take your stuff and go home. Being kissed by the sun. <laughs> so, um, hi guys. I'm here back again with a little update about the school, the changing of the school. I'm just coming from their school that they're all they the school that they've been attending and the the staff the teachers they love my children but I feel so bad giving them this news all the teachers came out and start talking to me and just start like they're really really like in grief <laughs> I was really sad I'm like oh my god I didn't know this how much my kids were influencing in the school how much they people have grown to love them and know and especially some of their suit their classmates know that we have the channel so um it was really 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 nice that the teachers came out and was able to talk to me and you know confront me and talk to me about some things that uh, give me an idea what they could do they even was able to offer me um a school bus but the school is so far from where we live it's just that they themselves couldn't find anywhere that the bus stop uh where the bus could be able to pick up my kids that's how far is the school from me so they checked everywhere to see that um they could if they could find a place that's near where i live and the bus and i meet up with the bus there to pick up the kids and bring them to school in the morning and drop them back for me so they tried and i'm so happy that the school actually considered it this um th this kind of thing for me and i'm really really happy and i know that i was in a good hand and i'm so sorry it had to end so soon um it's, if it's up to me, I'm, I swear, I told my kids, if it's up to me, I would not make this decision because I've worked hard and looked for a school that best fit the kids need and the school that is what uh, uh, that is willing to offer what I want for my kids. And that was the school that does everything I wanted. But from all of that, I was hurting myself. And I was hurting my future and my children in a way. Because in America here, you don't work, you don't earn, your children suffer in the future. Because you have nothing safe for them. Right now, as their age, they don't know what what really what's the real source of that. And I'm not gonna go into detail of it until one day they get older, they see this this video or they realize, wow, this is the kind of decision my mother and father really had to put into. And I'm so glad and happy. I have a wonderful supportive system. My husband is such a great husband. And I'm so grateful for him and being able, having my back coming up. You know, that's what takes to be a, um, that's what it takes to be a couple. When one is struggling in something, one comes in and help, help the other one's back 
So I'm pretty much very, very glad that I have that supportive system. So I'm not gonna make this video any longer. Um, I've tried my best and I'm gonna continue. I'm gonna continue because I have a big dream ahead of me. I'm still young and my kids are young and if I see an opportunity that I don't want to pass away, I'm gonna have to make some certain decisions. And I know my kids are not gonna see it now, the best of it, but in the future they will know. It's best that I make that decision for us. Um, I'm just so happy and glad that the school, oh my God, they really shocked me of their supporting system. They were, they were just so like, they give me like sort of security and say you know what we have your back you whenever you want to come back the school is open <laughs> i know but anytime you want to come back next year or if you change your mind during the weekend come back we still have our hands open for you and i'm so happy they all are open to me and i'm really grateful and thank you all thank you all the teachers thank you all of you guys and today i found out that my younger son ibrahim was on a dean list like he had um i think it's a principal list or something i don't know but he was on one of the highest um person in his whole class so i'm pretty i'm so glad because i know he had it and these my kids are like brilliant <laughs> they're so brilliant and i know for sure they'll continue striking and going go uh like being strong anywhere they go any school they go public charter any school they go private anything i know for sure my kids will continue growing and becoming successful because i know myself i'm a i'm a smart girl and my husband himself he's such a smart man of course those two people combine you you'll come up with geniuses in this world so <laughs> so i'm pretty much so happy and I'm not gonna con I'm gonna continue helping doing what I do for my family and making time for them sitting down and helping give uh, doing the best that I can to help them in a way that the school does and what I could do for them at home so that's not gonna stop and so this vlog is gonna end here I try I thought I was gonna end it yesterday but it didn't end because this morning we all as you can see we all got out the house and I was like you know what let me continue showing them going through the way how things going through they're not pre they're pretty much not happy I just dropped them off in their school they're not too happy but I know for sure inshallah things will go well my decisions and whatever Allah guide us it will be good for us. So, salamu alaikum. And thank you so much. Thank you guys for uh, watching our video. And don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. And for sure, say your farewell well to my children when they are attending their new schools. And um, their friends, they have grown. Uh, the large amount of friends they have got in... Harriet Tubman, thank you all, and they I know for sure they, they're going to miss you all tremendously. Every day they update about, this is what happened at school, this is what happened at school. So I'm so happy that they, the their friends and teachers give are able to give them these beautiful memories. That's what I want for my kids. Anybody around them, give them beautiful memories they could take with them as they grow up. So I'm pretty much so happy and glad, and I'm truly blessed so salamu alaikum thank you guys